Uh, speaking about uh, announcements, uh, have you guys incorporated the uh, Toast notification plugin into applications? Because it must be in every application, because it's so <laughs> awesome. Not yet, but I saw I saw that it's out there. It's in the it's in the store. It's ready to, ready for people to use. Yeah, use it. It's really great because uh, sometimes you see a application and something like, "Hey, you have an update." Okay, that's that's boring. That's uh, old style. Such notifications should be non-interruptive. And uh, my next plugin for this month would be NFC. NFC has uh, several um, ways to work. I will incorporate for now uh, the basic one, the, the one that is most really uh, requested, which is reading uh, NFC tags that are called NDEF uh, tags. So that I will implement that. And I hope it will be done like, well, if I'm like it, it will be done uh, this week. Because I don't have a device with NFC on, on hand, so it's kind of hard to test it. Gotcha. So so you got uh, so there's Toast, and then there's the QR scanner. You got that, yeah. and then you're gonna do NFC. Mm -hmm. Wow. Another plugin for Wiki Social Network is ready and submitted to the uh, store. It just Michael um, Corona needs to uh, uh, check it working by himself. And once uh, he makes it, it will be available as well in the store. Excellent! I love seeing all these uh, plugins pop up in the in the store. Just it just seems like it's uh, growing by the by the day. You know, for everyone for everyone who's listening, go out to uh, you know the Corona Labs website, then go to the resources up on the menu, and then go to Corona Plugin Directory, and there's a ton of stuff there. Uh, I know that Jason's put something out, Sergey's put something out, uh, mm -hmm. Stevens put Stevens put something out. It's just growing. Uh, Speaking about off-topic resources, we still don't have a link from the website to our IRC channel. No, nowhere. On uh, the website, on the uh, uh, from Corona Labs website, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, there's no link to IRC channel. It's probably just buried someplace because I know that if you go to uh, you can go directly slash IRC, but yeah, uh, Corona Labs slash IRC. Nothing goes to this page from other pages. Okay, I'll uh, I'll mention that because I know that it did it used to. Uh, it probably just got lost in the shuffle. But uh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, that's a great resource, IRC for sure. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, if you're in that uh, zone for, to do those types of things, go to coronalabs.com/irc, and uh, everything you need to know is right there on the page. It's, uh, you, there's even a link to a web client that you can click on and then put your name in, and you know, jump jump right into the IRC. So, cool. All right. Uh, anything else? Anybody else? I've got. Uh, let me let me see here. I got a couple of things. I'm just going to pull it right up here on the screen. Um, so John Howard asked if anybody has feedback on text candy, uh, you know, the expressive particle uh, widgets and text candy and particle candy and all that kind of stuff like that. Does anybody have any any feedback on using um, these third-party particle systems with Graphics 2.0 and what kind of performance? I've, I haven't used the text candy. I used the particle candy, and I, I found it really nice and easy to use. Um, I didn't notice a performance degradation, but it, it's more of a special effect in the app rather than, you know, continuously shooting off. Okay. Yeah, I, I've, I've used particle candy and then didn't, like you say, and didn't have any, have any problems with it. I wasn't trying to really push the limits of it. I wasn't doing like, a, right. uh, was it Hopico uh, by, you know, Laser Dog. Those guys are like really pushing it. I don't know. And then I think they're doing their own in-house particles, so. Yeah, you're a bunch you're of. Talking, you're you know, talking to the guys who who are pretty much like, yeah, I could use that, or I could just write my own. Right, <laughs> right. I know exactly the thing, the one effect I need. You know, that theirs right. is a great solution for multiple choices, lots of options. Beautiful, but. Uh, and made something for uh, uh, particles. Is it right? Sir. You have made uh, a module an application to develop yeah, particle effects. Yeah, these little things from my own personal uh, poor man's or lazy man's particles. Depends on what I need. Okay. 
Well, uh, there was there was kind of it's timely at the same time came in a, a blog post uh, over at Start Apps Blog. I'll put a link in the show notes, but. Uh, uh, here's an article. It talks talks all about uh, adding particles in your games, and it's uh, it was published, uh, you know, at the end of August here, and it kind of looks at all the different uh, particle engines and stuff. So, if you're into that kind of thing, go check it out. It's got particle candy on here and CB effects and all those types of things. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say that both of those particle uh, candy and uh, text candy are they're old, but they are both. Worth, I think they're worth getting just to see how they were coded. Well, yeah, they're. I think they're what they're old in in, in the respect that they've been around for a while, right? Not yeah, I don't old, mean old, old and sort of like stale. Dusty. What I mean yeah. is they've been around for a while. Yeah, that's a better yeah. way. To say. They're, right. they're stable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as far as I know, they're perfectly functional. You may run into some issues, but uh, you've got the code, and it's a good code. I don't know. Yeah, I've, and, I've been using it with Graphics 2.0 for over a year now, and and not had any problems with using their the like like I said the uh, particle candy. Um, I've I've just not gotten had a project that required the text candy. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, I'll put a link in the in the show notes because this this app um, or this blog rather has a you know they do they, they kind of take you through the solutions and then they kind of take you through creating a, a project with them. So you know it's not just sort of like, yeah, I thought you know it was it was really really good. Uh, had a good beat, but I couldn't dance to it. You know it was like, here's a here's a whole app. I mean, along with uh, uh, you know, gra sample graphics and everything. So sorry, I'm just so, laughing. It's got a good beat, but I couldn't dance to it. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you get that, I know I know how old you are. <laughs> you know how old you are. Oh, yeah. It hurt me. <laughs> I'm hanging out. <down. laughs> Also, there's a couple of uh, well, I would say a couple of new books. There's there's a there's a new book out, uh, Corona with Lua. Uh, it's a, written in Korean, so if you're if Korean's your thing, um, then this book would probably be for you. Uh, definitely, it's I, I don't do Korean, so it's it's it would be it would be a pretty it would be a beautifully written book that I would just look at. <laughs> uh, what I want to know is how the heck you found this out. Well, one of our, one of the Corona ambassadors in Korea. Uh, we you know stay in touch with them uh, and and they uh, they published a new book so it's been kind of like you know in development for a while but mm -hmm. but now it's out and available so uh, there you go I thought I'd mention it uh, I know we have a lot of people in the community from all around the world and uh, and and a lot of people do tune into the show even though it may not you know uh, they may you know the primary language may be Korean so I just thought I'd bring it up. All right, let's uh, enough of that. Let's get on to our game stuff. Oh, Maybe. I suppose you want me to talk. If you if you would. Oh, okay. I guess I could do that. Uh, let me get this. Okay, so what are we doing today? I was I was gonna lead in there with something you said, and then I couldn't remember what it was. So pretend that I was clever just now and lead in. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So what were we going to talk about? We're going to talk about uh, level builders. Uh, we're going to talk about actually the builders that go into making the objects. Can you see my screen first of all? I see it, but just want to make yes. sure. Yes. Yes, can. Okay. So um, on the previous session where we talked about the code the week before last, we talked about how to um, load level files, and we talked about these files that had the three sections in them, and we talked about Game Lua, which then used Level Loader. And when you um, when you went through this whole sequence of events, we talked about how uh, you would load a level and it would start off. Let me uh, let me go back to the editor here. It would start off as just a, a bunch of tables with some markers in them, tokens, and then eventually what you get is a table with a bunch of subtables where each table uh, subtable would have an x and a y. It would have a type. Uh, round, square, that would tell us the object we're building, uh, and then maybe a subtype that would tell us some additional details, like for the spikes uh, or the coins, which side of the block is that going to be on the top, the right side, the left side, or the bottom. But what we didn't do is we didn't dive into the builders. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through one builder, and then we're going to uh, we're going to examine the other builders by just looking at the game uh, and then I will quickly take you through the journey of how to add your own builder because what I really want people to do 
is to see how easy this is and to be able to create their own objects because what I got in here so far is most of the things that I think you'd need to make a basic game but there's always other ideas that people might have and I'd like to see them try to do that on their own.